Welcome to the introduction to Azure Storage Solutions course. My name is Jason Haley, and I'm a software developer and Microsoft Azure MVP. I've been using Azure since 2010 when there were only a handful of services. Back then, there were mainly two categories of products, compute and storage. These laid the foundation for all the products and services that are now in Azure. In this course, we're going to cover storage solutions, which are built on top of those products. Since I started using Azure, I've seen its number of products and features multiply exponentially. Products are being added so fast that I re it's really hard for me to keep track of what is out there and if it is relevant for my needs. In this course, we're going to focus on a few of the products in data and storage and backup categories. We're not going to cover all of the products in these categories, just the ones I've highlighted here. SQL Database, Document DB, Redis Cache, Search, Backup, Import Export, Site Recovery, and Simple Store. And just in case you're using either MySQL or MongoDB, we'll talk about running them in Azure as well. Now I've listed some prerequisites for this course, but basically it's designed for developers and IT professionals who have some experience with cloud technologies and an understanding of modern development practices. By modern development practices, I mean the products used like databases, either relational or NoSQL, web or mobile applications, and practices that are around agility and compliance like DevOps and disaster recovery. Also, some experience with Azure Portal is helpful, but it's not necessary. Since we have so many products to cover, we won't have time to do a deep dive. Instead, I've structured the sections to provide information that I think will give you a good introductory level of understanding. Then I finish up each section with a few references so you can dive in and learn more on your own. As I've created the content, I tried to address the following questions for each product. What is it? How does it work? What are the main features? How does it scale? Why would I use it? And how is it managed? Now, if you're ready, let's get started with the first product. 